I find at times that I'm always wondering if the root cause of their underlying neuropsychiatric symptoms are still more of a infectious etiology or if it's more inflammatory kind of the neuropsychiatric condition needs to be addressed and the Cunningham panel really helps me make that determination. I can kind of look at those autoantibodies and get a better understanding of what is going on in that patient's brain. It also allows for me to get a better understanding of if the infection is extremely active or if it's on the version of resolving. So I find it useful in knowing when and how I should change my management as far as treatment um, for both underlying infection or neuropsychiatric intervention. I also get an understanding of how active a person may be. So that might require that I take a longer, more aggressive approach to a patient versus others. And it also is helpful for not only the patient, but the family to see that there really is an underlying inflammatory process actively occurring in this patient. You can have patients who are chronically ill and they can be inflamed for numerous reasons. You know, it can be environmental toxins, it can just be, you know, current exposures or unable to, they're unable to detox or mold exposure, metals. So there are, our, our society is way more toxic than it's ever been. So when you're thinking about that and you wanna make sure you're looking at root causes as it relates to underlying infections still being the primary um, target here, that's why I find it the most useful. I look at all the autoantibodies, of course, and they do provide insight, but the utilization of this panel for my patient population is more when I'm looking to see, is this still an active infection? Because my patient population um, are chronically sick, and so they've seen 10 or 12 doctors minimally before they come into my office, so they've been on treatments historically, they've been previously diagnosed, and then I kind of do the detective work to try to find out what might still be present.